Hello Taurus, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm gonna be doing your general bonus reads for April 2024. Let's see who's coming towards your love, got your messages and money. What is going to happen, Taurus? Sun Moon Rising or Venus Sun in Taurus versus Rose Waters. You seem to me as a very calm energy right now. Let's see the messages here, Taurus. Bonus general messages for April. Oh, okay. I feel like there was something that was bagging you down, pulling you down, making you feel weak and burdened, stressed out. You're leaving that situation. Some of you have just ended a chapter in life that was stressful and gave you a feeling of dropping everything and just, you know, going crazy, going dead like that so i feel like uh that's a clear confirmation that all your problems have ended okay with the chapter that you've closed recently with someone you finally come out of the darkness and embrace what's new so the three of ones and the four of ones is like smoothly you're going forward and right now you might be alone you're trying to figure out your path your journey new opportunities okay one by one you will grab opportunities for yourself you will enhance you will grow you will expand so right now this is a time for you to expand grow in your journey explore okay become a better version of yourself which you're doing expansion is what i'm seeing earlier there were blockages okay let me see what kind of blockages were you experiencing in the past it was most probably the job the money okay you have been working really hard to prove yourself you have been struggling to have ample luxuries of life ample money for a secure or stable um life okay so all of this was not coming to you you you've been working hard but you were not getting the credit all of these things have put you in this uh, situation where you want to end the job or relocate and a new opportunity is coming on you okay it's coming fast so i'm definitely seeing a new opportunities right in front of you that you are definitely taking over and you're very happy that you have found the new job or new opportunity for you to grow i'm definitely seeing a lot of growth in your money taking place for sure okay so it's not going to be much late when you are going to be in a relationship a very happy relationship but first there is a need for you to settle stabilize your position get a job that can pay you super well or the business that can bring you more money after you're done with this journey you have immediately someone coming into your life that's going to spark desire and make you feel, fall in love with them i'm seeing you're not going to be alone for the whole life right now there is uh you need space you need alone time so that you can get out of the past drama in your life some of you was a bad relationship you're getting out of okay this is a time where you'll be focusing on your healing you'll be focusing on your well-being and you're enjoying the me time right now you haven't got freedom for a pretty long time so now you're right now just enjoying being free being on your own okay some of you there is a Leo, there's an Aquarius around that is coming towards you while you're simply moving towards enjoying your life. Yes, you right now Taurus are working on feeling calm, composed, healing yourself from the past experiences and becoming a better version, a new person altogether. I'm definitely seeing right now you're keeping your heart in control, okay, and you're using your brain over your heart. You're, you're not letting your emotions come in your way when it comes to your dreams, when it comes to your ambition, when it comes to what you want to achieve. You're trying to put your emotions in a backseat and you're going towards your goals with your head going strong. So, yeah, there were a lot of disappointments. There were a lot of hurt and there were fake promises being made. You're, you're, you've come out of it, but it's still very hurtful to think about it and you're going through this pain that nobody else can understand but only you so you need that me time for you to just uh cleanse the energy from the past and get into this new um 
cycle or a new space. So you're working on the shift, the transformation that's happening inside. Okay. Justice will come. What you want will come. I'm definitely seeing a lot of stability and calmness, money, friendships, relationships. Everything is coming to you with that one strong decision that you need to take if you haven't taken yet. So you're moving towards extreme success. You have found your worth. You know exactly what you deserve and you're putting away any kind of drama in your life. I'm also seeing there's an energy of a Libra person around you that has caused you a lot of hurt, stress, okay? So Taurus walking away is the best decision ever. This is what I will be saying. <clears throat> for your self-respect, for your energy, Queen of Wands. I feel like your energy is back. You're thriving, you're excited, you're enthusiastic, you want to get into doing something new, something exciting. You're no longer looking into the past and you're so happy because somewhere there was a baggage that you feel has been lifted out of your shoulders and you're free. Now you can do whatever you want. You can think of whatever you want. Okay. So you're, you're dancing through the life. You're, you know, enjoying what comes in and you're following your dreams, your ambitions, just the way you see yourself fitting in. So there is no more stress that was you know or control issues that you were you know feeling burdened under the high priestess i'm seeing you're following your intuition now you have stopped worrying about what people are going to say or asking for validation you've started to think of things that make you feel right do things that make you feel like yes this is where my happiness is this is where my success is this is where my life purpose so you started to listen within because the universe is inside of us it's not really outside it's also inside of us so we need to look inside our real battle is inside not with up with people you don't need to compete with people you need to compete with yourself how you were in the past you don't have to be the same person you have to be an evolved person you understood that uh, thing and you start to work on yourself Okay, I'm seeing there's a lot of growth coming in the near future because you have started wishing for what you want and not what others want. Now you stop taking care of what others are thinking and feeling, especially with the past. You used to put yourself, you know, um, in, uh, you know, with this past person, you were trying to work on things with that person, but they kept on taking your tests. You never felt like you had your own dreams and ambitions you never felt your life was in your control. But now you've left this ongoing battle that you had inside of you because of something from the past that was just not leaving you. So what I'm seeing is there's a feeling of contentment. There's a feeling of satisfaction. You are energetically growing, becoming a higher vibration, connecting with the... Um, universe, the energies, okay... And the 5D Riyam, you started to understand how law of attraction works and you are manifesting big. Write down the comment section of manifesting big money and love in my life. You are becoming a go-getter. Whatever you have an eye on, okay, will be yours. Especially when it comes to your career growth, when it comes to your money. Whatever you target will become yours. The money is going to come to you and in ample amounts. I'm seeing you will get a lot of opportunities, big projects that you always wanted to work with. Or more than that, you will be offered a lot of money. Okay, you will be chasing your dreams like anything. So write down the comment section. I'm fulfilling all my dreams. I'm rising. My money is growing. Okay. I see Taurus. Yes, you're becoming extremely career oriented. I'm also seeing you becoming more frugal. You are not spending even a little bit. You're keeping money safe. You're saving. You're becoming more and more um, self-centered, I'm seeing. You're using your mind over heart, at least. Nowadays, I feel there's a shift happening where you're trying to working on grounding yourself and staying focused. When you've had a vision, you know what you want. You're going after it no matter what comes in between. You're not going to shift your focus. You're not looking left. You're not looking right. You're looking straight. And that is why you're going to experience ample growth. 
Okay. Wow. Your decision game is on point. And I feel like the kind of decisions that you will be making in your projects, in your career, in your goals is going to take you a long way. You're going to make a lot of money. You will have a huge bank balance with um, groundedness, with feeling of being grounded. Right now in the comment section, I'm making million dollars per month. And I'm so proud of myself. I'm saving money. I'm investing money. I'm growing money all the time. I'm feeling grounded, happy, and secure. So they should be always uh, a thing like first work on yourself and then work on someone else. So once you're here, financially stable, secure, independent, happy, fulfilled, you have new love coming into your life. Let's see. This is all going to happen after six months from now till one year. You will see a major shift in your life happening money-wise. Let's see in your love life. You will have some love offers coming towards you. You will also have some players coming towards you that are part of your body but not your heart. So be cautious because there is someone around you that is like very smart in making the other person feel loved. They will give you everything initially. They will show you all the love. But the moment you give in to this person, open up your heart, you will get distracted and this person won't like it and that will become a turn off and then you'll see this person going away from you. So make sure that you're not entertaining someone, okay, too quickly and you're taking your time and you're keeping your energy in control. So there are certain options, at least two people coming into your life that might not be your perfect fit. They will be just the test of your whether you're actually focused or you're putting yourself in this on and off distracted energy. Okay, you will understand where you stand. Okay, so there is a need for you to be in control of your emotions and not give away yourself with just anybody coming in, pouring in, whatever you need to hear. So what is going to happen in love next? You also have a Gemini around. They have an eye on you because you're doing good. You will attract a lot of people because you're doing good. Okay. I feel you're going to... You're going to... I feel in this month of April, you're going to be rejecting these options. You don't see uh, the truth in them. You don't see a spark, the kind of a spark that you're looking in, you and your soulmate. That kind of feeling you won't have with these options. But after rejecting these two options, I'm surely telling you, you will be marrying someone with whom you will have a very strong long-term relationship with. I'm seeing the marriage around October 2024, but you have to keep patience. You will get a lot of attention. You will get a lot of compliments. You will have a lot of admirers, but the right match is, will, is going to take some time. You're going to break many hearts and then end up deciding to be with someone, getting married to someone. So right now you are, you're having options, okay? So there's no rush. You're just simply focusing on your stable foundation, on your happiness. The surety that I can give you is you're getting married, okay? I'm not seeing any of these two options, but yes, the time has begun where you will get a lot of love offers. The person that you will end up marrying is someone when you start loving yourself and giving yourself more priority. And this person will be safe for you. They'll love and respect you. They won't hurt you at all. Yes, they could be in teaching or you are in teaching. Teaching could be a part of your life purpose. Or universe is also giving you life lessons, making you more mature with time. Your confidence is something that speaks for you. People like the fact that you keep yourself um, strong, confident. Yes, so I feel you're highly confident. With time, you're becoming more and more stronger. Okay, And people are going to listen to you. You have that kind of earth angel energy where you can help people, okay, in your own way. Faded. So your life purpose is absolutely faded. You're about to do what you're meant to do, something to do with teaching because I'm seeing wings, wings and wings. It is a blessing from the universe, the angels, that you're supposed to do something for the people around you okay and that confidence will come in you let's see yes so you're one of those blessed beings that uh universe has chosen to 
help others, to enlighten others with your knowledge, with your confidence. Yes, I'm seeing you rejecting offers because you can see that they're not fit for you, the ones that are coming in, okay? Okay, what else? You're concerned about people around you, <clears throat> your family, your friends. I'm also seeing there are a lot of fake people around you have to be careful from, especially that around your home, okay? Some of you, I feel uh, you're going to buy a new house. Your family is going to gift you a new home. Some inheritance is coming. But there is a false person around you that you should be aware of. Do not let them know a lot about your life because they're keeping a close eye on you because your money is growing, okay? You're going to receive some sort of inheritance or a big house you're going to buy and there's someone that won't like it and will try to snatch that away from you. Maybe it's, it's a family, it's a family member, okay? So listen to what you... I want. I feel you've started to listen to what you want, okay? And uh, you are not bothered about, oh, whether this is going to hurt someone else. If I do this, it's going to hurt someone else. If you're happy doing something, you have to do it, okay? Because you learn and grow. Yes, stay positive. Things are definitely falling in the right place. Learn to say no. I'm seeing you rejecting a lot of offers. You're very close to achieving your goal. You definitely have big goals, Taurus. Nurture. It's time for you to take good care of your health. Sleep, sleep well, eat well. Okay, look good. Failure, judgment. Yes, you can go through certain failures. You can hear no from people. But at the same time, it is something for your highest good. If something didn't work out, it's because universe and angels are protecting you from it. Don't try to judge the situation too much. Oh, why did I face this failure? Oh, why did they say no to me? It was for your highest good, okay? There is a time that you need to keep taking good care of yourself, nurture yourself, keep yourself fit and healthy. This is more important. All right, the sign's coming in for you. Okay, you have a Scorpio, you have a Libra, you have a Taurus, you have a Cancer. From Aries to Pisces, what does your person think and feel for you? Aries to Taurus. Definitely jealousy is there, but they want to keep you around. Taurus, please. Taurus is moody and is not able to focus on one person. The Gemini is not interested or this person is just, you know, completely lost. The Cancer. They want to be friends with you and see how it goes. They're good. Leo wants to give you gifts and surprises. They could be rich. Virgo. Virgo is too much about, you know, planning, plotting, and losing the opportunities all the time. This person is like still healing. Libra. This person is jealous of you because they think that you're better off than them or without them. Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio feels left out because they don't see themselves fit for you. They're not in your league. They know this thing. Sagittarius. They find you explicitly beautiful, hot, and handsome, whatever you can think of. They feel you're the most grounded person that they've ever met. You have suddenly um, sparked the interest in them and they don't know why. They're just getting more and more attached to you. This person is also thinking about the long-term future here. Capricorn. They're not able to trust this. They're trying to rely on other people for the advice, whether should they go on for you or not. Capricorn. Um, Aquarius, please. All right, the Aquarius person is taking time. They are wasting time. This person is more about like, let me focus on my career. Let me focus on other things also. Pisces, they're into you for your money, for your body. 
either of the two. Or oh, this person is a narc. Stay away. Gemini that's coming through. Someone that likes the hi-fi life, luxury life. This person loves champagne, wine. You guys may go. I'm also seeing someone's going to ask you out on a dinner date. And I feel all your dreams are going to come true. Some of you are working in a liquor company or owns a company, liquor company. And you guys may be into spiritual work, spirituality, tea. I feel like do not miss out on opportunities that come to you, okay? Grab them. Uh, T could be in your name or your person's name, okay? And I'm also seeing that you know it better. How to live your life king size, queen size. How to be happy. How to live happily. This is, the key is in your control, okay? Keep your heart in your control. This is what I'm seeing. Enjoy life. You'll be enjoying, you'll be partying, you'll be going out. You're also spiritually protected from any kind of attack. I'm seeing you're following your dreams. You're going to be making it big. I told you, you're going to be chasing your dreams, your big dreams, okay? You're going to make it. Trust me on that. So that's about it, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this one for you. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you back again. And stay tuned for more stuff.